I'm Jen Nightingale and I'm the UK Conservation Manager at Bristol Zoological Society. We're here at Wild Place today so that we can talk you through a little bit about the site, uh, the special habitats it has and the kind of surveys that we do here at Wild Place to look after our native species. At Wild Place, a really nice, great way of surveying is using camera traps. We know we've got um, at least 19 different foxes using the site. We've got roe deer, muntjac, we pick up the hedgehogs, the badgers, and it's a really great way of seeing who's coming in and um, how they're using it. Now, last year we um, recorded 44 different bird species. Now we're helped along as well by this area, so this is our bird hide area, and we fill up our bird feeders with a variety of different seeds and nuts. Bird serve is a really nice thing for lots of different people to get involved with. You can have a look at your trees, and if you stand still for just a few minutes, it's amazing, that tree will just come to life and you'll be able to see different birds on it. great way of bringing wildlife into your garden and really helping to preserve it is by setting up your own bug hotel. Just be resourceful, find lots of natural bits and bobs, twigs and, and create some extra special habitat for smaller species. At Bearwood we do a variety of surveys and we have various different tools depending on the type of survey. Basically if you look over here We've got a one metre square and we've got 10 of these in areas where we used to have pathways and now haven't and in areas within the enclosures as well so we can get a really nice picture of what's going on with our biodiversity. And I think what's really nice to appreciate is that within this really small area um, where we are here, we have got a huge biodiversity, like a massive amount of different species. I really hope you've enjoyed having a little tour of Wild Place, looking at how we survey for all the amazing plants and animals. We'd love to encourage you to go and survey, even in these slightly unusual times. Get out on your balcony or in your green space or on your daily walk and have a listen, have a look. Get your eyes and ears open to the amazing sights and sounds. And we'd love you to record all the plants and animals that you find on your discovery walks. And if you can upload them to the iNaturalist app and for more information about the whole scheme go to the Bristol Natural History Consortium and we've teamed up with them to help with this exciting global initiative. <laughs>